In this video, I'll show you the multi-view drawings of a given object. The object is this one. Before constructing the views of this object, let me show you how we are just really constructing this object first. If you understand the way it constructed, you will understand easily to construct it as a multi-view drawing. And then it will be even helpful for you even to construct an isometric drawing from a multi-view drawing. So let me show you step by step. Now this first, the first object, this part is constructed from this prism. Every features are just cut out from that part and then manufactured in this way. At the initial condition, the object was this one. That means having a 150 width, a 60 millimeter depth and an 80 millimeter height. This is just a prism. So this was the object. If this object is given to you and then you are trying to construct a multi-view drawing, it will be very simple. If the question is just asked in a first angle projection, I will show you here. Later on, I will show you even with a third angle projection. So the front view, the top view, and then the right side view will be selected for this case. In first angle projection, front view will be placed here and the top view will be on the bottom of that and then the right side view will be placed on the left of the front view. So the space required for the three views will be this one. That means for a front view, we'll have 150 width and then 80 height. So from here to here, it will be a front view. And then for the top view, the height will be just the depth of the object. That means it is 60, so 60 will be for that. And then for the right side view, the height is the same as the front view. And then its width will be just the depth of the object at 60. So finally, we'll have a place for a front, a top, and then a right side view as this one. So all the views will be projected here. In this case, since it is a prism, so it will have just only a rectangular surface on the three views. That means the front view is this. That means with the sky blue color. So the front view will be constructed in this way. This is just the front view. And then for the top view, it is with just a red color. And then just we can construct this one. And then for the right side view, we can use just this gray color. So this is just the right side views of the given objects. What will be just for the view, if we remove some portions of this object, that means if we remove this portion, what will be the multi-view drawings of this part. Let me show you this with thing. Now, let's just remove this part and then finally we have this shape. So what will be the front, the top and the right side views of this part? Let's start from the front view. So from the front view, from here to here, it's a 30 millimeter measurement. And then we'll just construct one vertical line here as at a distance of 30 millimeter. And then from here to here, it is just 60 and then one vertical line from here, 60 millimeter. And then finally, we'll have this. So the constructions of these surfaces will be over this. And then the other one, the height is given as 40 millimeters. So from here to here, we'll measure and then construct one horizontal line as a 40 millimeter here. So finally, we can get that. And then we can construct this shape. That means this shape is just a U-shape object because when we are looking from the front, we see this U-shape object. So previously, the object was just a rectangle. So we have to remove this portion. So if you just erase this part, you'll get the front view just like this one. And then for the top view, since we have now one, two, three surfaces, so the three surfaces will be constructed over here. The first is just with this color and the second is just with the, this gray color. And then finally, we'll have this part. So if you just construct that line vertically, you'll get this part. So this is just the top view of the given object when you just look from the top side. Now for the right side view, when you are looking from this, you'll see only this surface as a visible, but there is a hidden surface. So that hidden surfaces will be this one. So if you just want to construct that hidden surface, you will use just a hidden line. So you will use just this hidden line to show that as there is some future behind this surface. So the multi-view drawings of this object becomes this one. Now what will be if we just remove some portions from the lower parts of this object? Now, previously the multi-view drawing were this. Now we are removing this portion. 
So the new multi-view drawings will be constructed into this way. Now we are just removing this part as it is. And then finally we have this layout. So to do that, this portion is just removed from this part. We have to place it on the front view. So to show that on this case, we have to project this surface. That means to project it, we'll measure from here to it is 20 millimeters. So we'll put this as a 20 millimeter as a height. And then for horizontally from here to here, it's also 20 millimeters. So from here to here, 20 millimeter. And then from the last one, it's also 20 millimeter, this line. So once you get that, you can construct this line. So this surface is just showing us there is some portions of the object as created from the previous one. So once we have this, now what will be this surface on the top view? On the top view, we are just looking from the top side. You might look, for example, to just as of understanding, let me show you this with the animation. If you are just looking from the bottom side, you didn't see this object. So you'll try to project this object on the top view, where is that surface? So the surface is placed inside this part. That means from the front view, the projection is just like this. So that surface will be created between the two lines, but the exact location will be on the lower parts of the top view. So from here to here, the depth is given as 12 millimeter here. So 12 millimeter from here to here means we'll measure from here to at 12 millimeter, and then we'll construct one line. And then once you get that, you'll have this surface. It is constructed with a hidden line because it is covered by three surfaces here. So we are just showing them with a hidden line. Since there is no any object line for the three lines, one, two, three, we can construct as a hidden. But for this part, since there is an object line, so we'll give a precedence for that. So we don't need to construct a hidden line over this. So finally, you'll have this view for a top view. What will be the features of this object from the right side view? When we are just looking from the right side view, the same thing will be happen because it's not clearly seen over here. It's covered by the surface, but we have to show this surface. So the surface of the projection over this one will be over this. That means it will be just from here to here. It is just a 20 millimeter because previously constructed from horizontal line. We can use this one. And then it is at the left side or at the left end of the right side view will be constructed this surface. Having the depth from here to here, it is 12 millimeter. You can measure from here to here as a 12, and then you can project the remaining surface vertically in this way. So finally, you'll have this projection. So the multi-view drawings of this object can be this one. Now let's just a little bit subtract this part. If you just subtract this part in this way here, so finally, this object will have this shape. So how we could just construct the surface, which is actually created over here with the multi-view drawing. So which surfaces will be really modified and then where will be even from the front view. So to know about that, first of all, we have to measure one vertical line from here to here, which is really 40 millimeter now from the tip of the front view as of the right side here. From here to here, we'll measure a 40 millimeter and then put at that one. That means we can get the tip of this object. And then the other one, from here to here, it is given as 20 millimeter. So from here to 20 millimeter, previously it was also 20 millimeter. In this case, they are just at the same point. Once you get that, you can just connect this line. Did you see this one? If you just connect this line, that means we are just projecting a given surface because this surface is an inclined surface. Since it is an inclined surface, it is view on the front view becomes a line in this case. And then it will have the surface on the top and then the right side view. I'll show you it here. So once you have that, we have only this line. So the multi-view drawings of this object become this one. We add only one line for the front view. And then what will be for the top view? For the top view, if you are just looking from the top view here, so the object will be constructed from here to here, but at which stage? If you just look here from here to here, it is 30 millimeter. That means we'll measure from here to here 30 millimeter and then we'll construct one horizontal line. And then once you get that, you can construct this line here and then it will turn into the lower part. Finally, you'll have this shape. In the other case, when you look from the top view, we are just looking this inverted L shape here. And then the other one, this pink color, that means the pink color is this surface that means it is just changed into a rectangular surface in this way but it will have a distorted shape it is length will be distorted 
Now, what will be the view when we are looking from the right side view? From the right side view, the place of this inclined surface will be just measured from here to here. It is 30 millimeter. That means we'll measure a 30 millimeter and then we'll project one vertical line. And then it is height will be 20 millimeter from the horizontal and then we get it previously. So once you get that, you'll just place this surface. So this surface is just the views of the inclined surface on the right side view. So this is the multi view drawing for the given object when we are just subtracting this portion. When you look over here, previously there was a hidden line, which means for this lower path. But now when we are just projecting, we get an object line here. So with the precedence of line, object line or visible line will take the precedence or the priority. So we are just constructing an object line over that hidden line. So the multi-view drawings of this object can be converted into this way. And then what will be the object? Now, if we just remove some portions of this part at this tip, let's just remove this part. So when you remove this, we will have this shape. That means with this red color. So where is the projection or the multi-view drawings of this surface on the top, on the front, and then on the right side view? On the front view, if you want to place this, normally from here to here it is 60 millimeter. That means you will measure from here to 60 millimeter and then you will construct a horizontal line. Once we do this, the projections of this inclined surface will be just a rectangle on a front view and then its lenses will be distorted and then finally it will have this shape. So this is just the front views of the given object. Now, when you just look the top views of the surface, it will be very simple. Now from here to here, it is 20 millimeter. That means from the top of the top view, we'll measure from here to here 20 millimeter, and then we'll construct one horizontal line, and then we can construct this line. Finally, we can get this surface. That means this surface, the remaining part of the surface will be just the top views of the given surface over this. Now what will be the view on the right side view? On the right side view, to do this, now if you're just looking from this, normally at this case, it is just covered with these uh, two surfaces, so it might not be visible. So to do that, now from here to here, it is 20 millimeter. That means from the tip of the right side view, from here to here, we'll measure 20 millimeter and then construct one vertical line. And then this is just the tip points of this line. Normally, when you're just looking from the right side view, this plane will be an edge or it will be just a line. You can refer just the video related to the inclined plane projection in this way. You can even get from the video description. And then once you get this, this point will be the initial points of our line for the projections of the surface. And then for the other one, it is at the 60. So from here to it is 60, that means it is previously projected from the horizontal view. So you can connect only this line. Once you do this, this line indicates as that surface or that inclined surface is covered with this part. You have to show that as there is some surface behind that object. So the multiple drawings of that part can be easily constructed into this way. Now we are almost completing every view. Now one feature is remaining. That feature is just we are just removing this portion to here. If you just look over here, this portion is removed then the remaining part will have this projection so we'll add only this feature from our multi-view drawing now from the front view this part is just created over this one so we'll try to construct that portion so once we have this if you just look over here now from here to here it is a 10 millimeter height from here to it is 10 millimeter that means from here to here we'll measure 10 millimeter and then project one horizontal line and then from here to here it is a 20 millimeter so previously we had a measurement of 20 millimeter for the other case so we don't need to construct over that projection line anyway from here to here it is 10 and then from here to here it is 20 so once you get that we can connect this line so we'll have this feature if you look over this this surface is just created over here that means the views of these surfaces will be this one but since this part is removed we have to erase this part so we are just erasing this path and finally we'll have this view. 
So we are just finishing the views of this object on the front view. The same thing can be applied on the top view. When you are just looking on the top view, previously it was just an inverted L shape here, but we are just adding one surface here. So one line will be added over here. So this surface have this one. So this, the green surface is just, if you just look over here, this surface will be this one, and then the remaining L shape will be this one. So the future is simply added on the top view. And then for the right side view, now we are just looking from the right side view, it will be added on this L shape. Now, previously the L shape was having the distance of 80 millimeter, but in this case, since it is just cut at this portion and it becoming a 70 millimeter, and then we can simply project one horizontal line here. If you just do that, we can get the surface. That means the blue color surface is the multi-view drawing will have on the right side view at this portion. So finally, you'll have this view. So every views are now constructed for the given object. I hope you understand the most important thing related to a multi-view drawing and then an isometric drawing. Especially understanding the exact positions of the futures will be very helpful to put that future on the front, on the top, and then on the side views of a multi-view drawing. The other thing is, if you are just constructing this object on a third angle projection, it will have this layout. That means the front view, if the front view is here, the top view will be on the top of the front view, and then the right side view will be placed on the right of the front view. If you compare the views with relative to the first angle projection, the views are the same, except their position relative to the front view. If you just need more exercises with a solution key, you might just join our platform through the link which is described on the video description. And then this is just the end of the video. Thank you for your watching and then see you soon.